So crizotinib is a standard first-line therapy, but we now have data that's emerging that suggests that some of the second-generation ALK inhibitors may be even better than crizotinib as first-line therapy. And I think the most exciting data that was released uh, actually just at ASCO a few months ago was the J-ALEX study. So J-ALEX was a Japanese randomized phase three trial comparing electinib to crizotinib in ALK positive patients who were TKI naive. And uh, the study had about 100 patients in each arm, um, and the primary endpoint was progression-free survival. And what we saw at ASCO was that the study was hugely positive in favor of electinib. So the PFS hazard ratio was 0.34 in favor of electinib, um, with a median PFS of about 10 months with crizotinib, and the median was not reached with electinib. So this is very exciting data. Um, I think everyone's very excited to start using electinib in the first line setting. However, um, I think uh, we have to recognize that this study did have limitations as well. And so I did review these today. The limitations include that it was a Japanese only study, so limited to one ethnicity, um, different dosing of electinib compared to what we use um, outside Japan. Um, importantly, uh, Brain metastases were not a stratification factor for randomization, so in fact there was an imbalance in the number of patients who had brain metastases. There were more of those patients in the crizotinib arm than the electinib arm. And then one of the main other different, uh, I would say, potential confounders with that study was that um, in the safety review, um, crizotinib had uh, more side effects than electinib. Um, and actually, I would say that a proportion of patients who needed a dose interruption or dose discontinuation from crizotinib was quite high. In fact, quite a bit higher than what we've seen in other global studies of crizotinib. So I do worry that the study that may have maybe unfairly been biased against crizotinib. So fortunately, we have a global ALEC study that has uh, completed enrollment, and this is a very similar study to J-ALEX, but I think uh, addresses some of these limitations, and we hope to have those results back um, sometime next year. And if that shows a very significant PFS improvement the way J-ALEX did, then I think, yes, we will move toward first-line electinib.